all listening this broadcast by whatever means. As expected, the COVID-19 Control and Prevention Bill has been given its third reading in Parliament and passed into law. It now awaits the assent of His, Ex of His Excellency, the Governor General, and publishing in the official Gazette before it becomes effective. There were some amendments to the bill while it was in committee stage, and so at a subsequent briefing, I will highlight some of the provisions of this new act. We are still, however, guided by the provisions of the Emergency Powers Regulations number 47 of 2020. We have been guided by these regulations for the last seven months, and we do not expect or we do not anticipate any major changes with respect to expectations of our behavior in the context of COVID-19. Our borders are now open, and we have since received two international flights from major hotspot cities in the U.S. This means that our risk of exposure to the virus has increased significantly. All of the provisions and protocols in the various pieces of legislation that we are guided by are aimed at preventing the spread of the virus. Our entry protocols might be stringent, but necessarily so, so as to mitigate the risk of importation of the virus. And should the mitigation efforts not succeed, then our containment protocols, such as vacation in place and quarantine, and the COVID-19 certified transportation for visitors and returning nationals should all act as a second layer filter to ensure containment. Notwithstanding these border control measures, we are all still required to follow the other basic protocols to protect ourselves. These are the wearing of face masks while in public, practicing good hand, good hand hygiene and sanitization habits, and avoiding crowded social gatherings and maintaining a physical distance of six feet from other persons where possible. Thank you.